tightening up your game for the next one you facing. R Cam Athletics, coaching and motivation. <laughs> Any questions for these gentlemen? What weight was it that it played there? Cruiserweight. Cruiserweight. So I'm going to the gym. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every day. Right. Any this other questions, gentlemen? David, do you have a referee for a fight? Actually, we did. We have the same referee referee their father's fight, which is still back for this one. You'll be refereeing this wow. one. Wow. Yeah. Wow. History, man. We're doing history here, you know. It's a long time in the coming. These two gentlemen stepped up. It's just amazing, man. It's just, uh, it's great. You know, this is a fantastic thing to, to, to have this opportunity for both of us to come out and compete. And you see, with all the things that are, that are, that are going on in, in the world, I mean, especially, you know, with the, you know, I, I was I was a little, I've been down the last two days with, with all the police brutality things that have been happening. And, uh, you know, it's an opportunity of two young brothers that are you know, doing what they want to do in life, you know, positive things. And we're going to be competing, we're going to have fun. Uh, I have a, a great charity called uh, YGS Foundation, so we're for growth and success, and it mentors young African American men uh, about how to be successful in business and how to grow them and then how to uh, and how to be successful leaders. And I think it's just an awesome opportunity that we have the uh, you know, opportunity to use our platform to do something great and uh, have some fun in the process. So, you know, if you guys think it's just going to be a uh, you know tap tap kind of fight, it's not going to be. We're going to have some fun in there. All right. All right. Uh, that's good. That's Ray Leonard Jr., ladies and gentlemen. Anybody have any other questions? Take about four more questions, and we're going to have to do the stare down. I ask both of you, from both of your fathers and the great legacy that they left, what's, what's the greatest thing that you learned from your father? Stay humble. Right. 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 So, so all of us, you know, it's five of us, so, you know, it's always said, stay humble and, uh, you know, focus on the things that you need to do. Don't worry about anything else. So I take that all day, every day. To me, it, it's, 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 it's similar. It's similar. It, it is about being humble, about appreciating what you have, appreciating the opportunities that you have. Because if you look at it, you know, the, the, the stats for, for a young black man like us, you know, between the age of 18 and 24, you know, that, that's the highest phase that we won't make it. But we're here, we're making it, we're still doing our thing. So that's a approach in itself. And we're just, you know, uh, and I'm just happy and I mean, I'm excited that, that we have this opportunity to do something positive. Do something positive and, and have some fun and, and show what we have. You know, it's, uh, you know, the, our, our father's brought to a, to a split decision. And a lot of people said his dad won, a lot of people said um, my dad won, which they gave him a decision, which he did win. So, yeah. it, it's, it's the truth. <laughs> You know, it's it's an opportunity to uh, to bring some 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 closure to it and see if the sons can settle this uh, grievance that we have. Oh, yeah. Ray, I heard you say you guys want to go in and have some fun, but can we expect each of you guys to go in and try to make that stoppage? Fireworks, man! So, yeah, so, no. I'm just gonna hope one of them cooperates. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know. I, I'm, not, I'm not going in looking for, for a stoppage. I'm looking for a victory. And if it cooperates early, then so be. Yeah. But I mean, we're both competitors. So you know it's going to be nobody wants to, wants to you know, lose. And nobody wants to, to dishonor our, our fathers. So it, it's, it's going to be the best of both of us. So this is going to be a, a real fight. This is not some celebrity exhibition. This is a real fight. Yeah, I, don't, I don't do WWE. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to take two more questions, guys. Two more questions for anyone. How many rounds will it be? Four. Anybody else? Will your father be there? Well, I have to check his schedule, but we have had the conversation. He knows what's going on. And, uh, I can't give away all my secrets yet. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 
got to leave. We 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 so I'm going to take two more questions, and then we're going to have to climax this with the pro. So who's going to knock who out, and in what round? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be early, I think, so. <laughs> he said who? He said who? I guess he wants to go home early. <laughs> City, um, what does it mean to actually bring boxing back to that hollow ground for boxing? You know, I mean, we're, we're, we're East Coast boys, you know, uh, I'm, I'm from Maryland, and, and, and I'm from Boston area, living in Atlanta, you know, I'm, I'm just in the West Coast now, but, you know, I remember as, as a young boy always coming down to Atlantic City and, and watching the fights and hanging out, and even though my father's last fight was there, it didn't go so well for him. I'm going to reverse the history on that one. So I, I think Atlanta City is, is a fantastic area, fantastic uh, you know, place. And, and uh, I hate that it was gone through all the things it's gone through, but we, we have the opportunity. I say, when I have this conversation, when I do my speeches, I'm talking to you know, people across the, across the world, and I tell them you got to control the ape. So the only thing that you can control, that monkey in your back, is your attitude, your preparation, and your effort. It's three things you should always control. And so that's what we can control. I think if you bring that back here to the East Coast area, to Atlantic City, to, to Chicago, to, to DC, to all those areas that are struggling, we can we can provide something that's more positive for that area and bring it back to where it needs to be. All right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, what Ray is saying is, is true. I mean, uh, Atlantic City is a, it's a birthplace of boxing as well. So, you know, it's a, it's an honor to be, you know, fighting over there. It'd be great. You know, it's something that uh, I know my father you know, did many, many times as well as his father. And to be in Atlantic City would be, you know, epic. I mean, it's just one of those things that you just respect and move along with and, and, and take it as it is. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, this is going to be a war. They're really excited. We are open. We're going to check out what direction we're going to go venue-wise. We're open right now, but you know, our hearts are set on not on Atlantic City, but to see what the best deal is. But AC, you know, we want to come there. Thank you.